Okay, as you can see here, I've got the front end off my bike. Um, well, not the wheel, just the, uh, the air dam and the, and the front fairing and the headlights and everything. I was recently in a wreck at the track and kind of broke all that stuff up. So I figured while I was in here, I was going to replace my steering dampener, um, which is this thing right here. Um, most people that already know what this is know that this is an easy replacement, but for somebody that's never done this, uh, this is pretty simple. So this is a 2009 Tuono Aprilia, or excuse me, Aprilia Tuono, uh, and uh, it comes with a standard sax or socks, however you want to pronounce it, steering dampener. Um, some some bikes don't come with them at all. Most sports bikes or high-end sports bikes are going to come with them. It's kind of a standard item. Um, but as with anything suspension related or um, you know control related, usually you can upgrade it with something better. Um, so I have purchased. Uh, this Olin's unit, um, just a used one, and as most of you know, the Olin's uh, are pretty much the top of the line suspension uh, brand that you can get. As you can see here, I have Olin's forks and I have an Olin's rear shock as well. Um, my, my recent get off at the track included a, a, a fairly hefty tank slapper. Um, I almost high sided the bike, so the damage could have been a lot worse. And if you don't know what a tank slapper is, basically what happens is uh, you're, you're in a corner or you come down off a wheelie or something and the front wheel doesn't come down straight and so it starts to wobble just a little bit and it, and it gets worse and worse and the handlebars of course are going back and forth very very fast and it keeps getting worse. Um, if you can catch it in time and you're, and you're smart enough about it, accelerating is actually probably the best way out of it because you want to you lighten the load on the front wheel so that it can straighten out again and then you can you can put it back down and, and keep it straight. Uh, worst thing you can do ever is hit the brake because you're gonna you're gonna put more pressure on the tire. And if you do that when it's already at an angle, then you're just bike's gonna flip on you. Um, so the so the basic of this is the the, the standard stock unit is crap. Um, I mean it does work better than not having anything at all, but this one is an adjustable one. Um, I believe there's 16 clicks on it, and I think. Right down the middle of the road, about eight clicks is probably pretty good. Um, I'm not really that much of a, a racer or anything to know the difference, but um, if that situation ever arises with me again, I'm hoping this one will, this uh, better unit, this better steering dampener will help me a little bit better to kind of get out of that. Hopefully it never happens again, but you never know. You always prepare for the worst, right? So anyways, replacing this is pretty simple. You do not need to have the whole top end of the bike off. Um, it's pretty easy to get to. Uh, you, it's a lot easier to do it without a, without a front stand on. I just took my stand off because um, I had it up and didn't work on it. But pretty much there's a bolt or a, a stud here coming down off of the uh, frame right below the air dam. Um, coming off there and there's a bolt screwed into the bottom. This little plastic cover just pops off. It was handy knowing that because then I could uh, clean the bugs off. But it only fits this unit so the Olin's does not with its own, so that goes in the box of parts. That's all my broken bits. Um, and this pretty much just goes on just like this. Uh, we're going to replace that bolt, 8 millimeter, with this one over here, and the adjustment knob is over here. So really a very simple uh, changeover. Um, the, the higher you go in clicks, I should say, to the right, I believe you actually increase the resistance of the turning of the forks against the uh, against the frame, basically. So uh, it might get to the point where you might even be able to feel it. Most of the time, you know, because you're putting input in from the end of the bars, you know, you won't feel that much because you've got leverage. But if you were to feel it, you know, trying to pull on this rod at eight clicks or so, you can, you can definitely feel the uh, the compression. So, anyways, I'll switch that over real quick. We'll see how it looks. Okay, real quick, I need to show you something that I'm going to have to um, to do to get this to fit. And I'm not sure if this uh, Olin's uh, steering dampener came off of an RSVR, uh, the one, you know, the, the version of the uh, of the uh, of this bike, I guess, in the in the racing configuration, not the naked, not the upright handlebars and whatnot. Um, so it might have come off a bike that has a different configuration at the front, different fairing and everything. But anyways. The old ones just came with a standard bolt, uh, just just a short one. Um, I had to kind of pound that out because it had some corrosion in there, but uh, but pretty much you, you can see I 
put the bolt in the wrong way, but uh, it doesn't f it doesn't fit right because you know I'm missing that that spacer in there. So that's clearly clearly not the right bolt for that. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is take this bolt, which went through the spacer, and of course these are the grommets that go through this unit here. So I'm pretty much just going to take this bolt out, slide it through here, and of course use the spacer. So I'm just going to reuse the, uh, the, the stock bolt off of the bike. Uh, there is a small little washer here that is slightly bent. And it's supposed to be that way. It's like a lock washer. It's to keep that that uh, bolt from uh, working its way out. So make sure you put that back on. Okay, I've got it installed. Uh, one thing I wanted to note, if you've never put one of these on before, just so you don't over tighten anything, uh, these do flex. They're supposed to be loose. They have a ball joint on the end as well as in the center. They are supposed to move. So please don't try and crank that down if you think that this is loose for whatever reason and you need to tighten it more. It'll snug up here and, and that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be loose. Um, probably can't hear this with you know, the bike going, but or you know, with this phone doesn't pick up audio very well, but you can kinda I don't know if you can hear, but you can hear the oils, you know, squishing around in there and getting compressed and that's that's doing its job. It's uh, you know, trying to reduce or slow down movement um, in basically in the bars uh, in the steering of the bike to make it more smooth uh, and to uh, help prevent you know rapid unwanted movement from side to side is pretty much what it does so anyways that's uh that's a steering dampener that's how to install one um, there are other variations of a steering dampener sometimes they'll put them on the top of the triple and anchor it somehow to the frame um, you know sometimes they mount to the bar so there's different ways to, uh, to, you know, to dampen the steering input of a motorbike. Uh, this is just a lower, lower triple uh, attached steering dampener, so it's uh, um, pretty easy change on a, on a Tuono. Again, the RSVR and Tuono steering dampeners are the same. I'm not sure about this part. It may be different, but I uh, just reused it. So there you go. If you have any questions? Uh, Put a comment in there and I'll answer it. Thanks for watching. Bye.